Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about bearings. Uh, don't let the name fool you, this has nothing to do with actual bears. So nothing to do with bears, if you want to bear up here, this is to do with compasses. So when we look at compasses we know that we've got uh, a couple of directional points on a compass. So the first directional point which we've got is we've got this north, then we've got south, then we've got east, and then we've got west. So the way I was always taught to remember this is never eat soggy wheat bix. Uh, if you're not from Australia, then I don't think you'll know what wheat bix are. It's a type of breakfast cereal that we have. It's pretty delicious. But yeah, northeast, south, and west. So in this video, we're going to look at two types of bearings. The first one is going to be a true bearing, and the second one is going to be not a false bearing, but what we call a compass bearing. So these are the two types of bearings that we have. So a true bearing is a bearing measured from north. So it's always measured with north as our reference point, whereas a compass bearing is first measured from north or south. So it's first from north or south. And then we give directions east or west. So it's first from north or south, and then we give directions east or west. east or west. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at an angle and we'll see what it is as a true bearing and then we'll see what it is as a false bearing, I mean a compass bearing. So first we've got this north bearing here. The way we denote our circle is a circle always has 360 degrees in the circle. So in every quadrant, we call these things here, we call them quadrants. Um, and this is denoted as quadrant 1, this is denoted as quadrant 2, this is denoted as quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4. Um, we have 360 degrees, so when we go around the circle here and get to the start, we have gone around 360 degrees. So if we were to take one degree of this circle, so one degree like that, and we move across that way, that's saying we move one degree in our circle. So say we have an angle down here, we draw a line which goes, say it's perfectly straight, this one's not, it goes perfectly straight and it's on a 45 degree angle here between these two points. So we know that if we go around this circle, we're going to have to go through 90 degrees here. So through 90 degrees there and then we're going to have to go down another 45 degrees in order to get to our 45 degree angle. So if we were using this as a reference point, we would say from north, so from north, we have to go around 90 plus 45 or 135 degrees in order to get to our 45 degree angle. So we would say this bearing is on an angle which is 135 degrees true because it's 135 degrees away from north. Whereas if we're taking a compass bearing down here, we know we first we first choose whether we're closer to north or south. So we're in this bottom half, we're definitely going to be closer to, to south. And then we give directions either east or west. So we first, if we're trying to get to this angle here, we go to our south quadrant, uh, south half, sorry, southern hemisphere, and we go all the way over to this 45 degree angle. So we only have to move 45 degrees because we've already given you a direction that you're south. So what we say is this compass bearing is your south 45 degrees is the angle we're going to move and we're going to move in the direction of east. So 135 degrees true is equal to south 45 degrees east. These are equivalent bearings. The orange is the compass bearing, and the true bearing is done in yellow. So that's one example. Uh, we can do another example. So say we had an angle which was all the way over here. So it was 10 degrees away from north. So this angle here is 10 degrees. Well, if we want to get to that using a true bearing, we have to go all the way around our circle. So using a true bearing, we continue this yellow line, we'd have to go all the way around until we got to being 10 degrees away from north. 
So we'll actually find that we've moved 350 degrees using our true bearing. So if this was a true bearing and we were trying to express this 10 degree position, we'd say that we are uh, tr 350 degrees true. So that means we've gone all the way 350 degrees away from north. If we're using a compass bearing, we first go from north or south, so we work out whether we're closer to north or south first, so this angle is definitely going to be closer to north, and then we give directions either east or west. So we say we're north, and if we go 10 degrees towards west, we'll be where we wish to be. So we say we are north, 10 degrees, west. So what we can say is 350 degrees true is equal to our north 10 degrees west. So that's how we work out our bearings. Like I say, it's got nothing to do with bears. I'll put out an example for you guys to have a go at. It comes up often in trigonometry and pathfinding and things like that. Some useful stuff, also quite interesting. So I'll put out some questions for you.